but you've got your immediate reaction to that. It's probably a little bit worse in the scoreline than it actually looked over the course of the game. Yeah, look, it's fair to say, look, the, the, the last goal really took the, took the loss off it. Uh, it probably doesn't maybe justify the efforts we put in, but at the same time, um, you can't take it away from Dublin. I think, look, there the, the was hunger there in them tonight. I spoke about the hurt that they were probably feeling, and that was evident there tonight in how they applied themselves. Um, you know, we're we're supposed we're disappointed because we showed at, at stages there tonight how good we can be. I think the goal in the first half turned out to be very significant um, because it gave Dublin a nice cushion uh, when we got it back to five there in the second half. You know, if, if we could if we could have avoided that goal, you know, we're well in it. Like, and even the first half for all Dublin's dominance, the goal was ultimately the difference coming in at half time. But to be fair to them, uh, you know, with 15 minutes to go. They responded and they, they, they finished very strong. They kicked for home. They had some good impact off the bench too, in fairness. Some really good players were able to come in there and uh, you know pick us off. And at that stage, look, maybe five, six minutes out, our legs looked to be gone there. You know, we had to put a lot in to get back, you know, to get back that five points. We we, we spent a lot of energy on that. You didn't really sort of threaten to get inside them for it all, and you probably needed it after their one was up for enough. Yeah, no, that that was the thing. We we, we got no joy out of that and uh I think the the way we set up as well, you know, Dublin spare man played the game well. I think he he was very proactive and 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 he was you know I think when you know playing that and you're used to playing that he, he you know he knew when to go and there was a good understanding there and I think he got on a lot of ball and to be fair to Dublin look on their own puck outs as well they worked him out really really well so um, yeah look all in all we've we've we're 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 very disappointed we're heartbroken inside because um, as I said the, the scoreboard was you know, very badly against us in the end, but we can have no arguments over who the better team was tonight, unfortunately. When you um like trying to prepare for the match with the threat of it all going to the wall the whole time, like was it not that like would we be an excuse, but just as a manager like was it hard to keep everybody totally focused all the time? That sure it is because I suppose you, you don't get a chance to to really sit down with lads one on one, you know, and ask them are they okay with that to a point. And I'm sure behind it all, every one of them, and we're all just, it's there in the back of your mind. It's, it's never far from your thoughts. But, I mean, all you can do is, is we, you do your protocols, you, you, you know, you keep doing what, what we're being advised to do. And, you know, we lost two lads during the week because there were close contacts of confirmed cases. So it's, it's there, it's real. So it's, um, it's just part and parcel of it, unfortunately. And it's there, the backdrop of everything. But um, you just said, look, fair play to both sets of players and, and everyone for making it happen still, like for, for, for coming out in those circumstances because, um, you know, you look at the situation down awfully this week, so you just don't know what's going to happen. Would you be able to quantify uh, the difference that the, the empty ground made to the game? Is there, is there any single thing that, that is more noticeable or less noticeable than it usually is? Or? Yeah, it's brutal coming out of the tunnel at the start of a match and there's no there's no reaction from the crowd. I think that's the last little jolt of adrenaline you get um, when you take to the field in Croke Park. So yeah, definitely it was a surreal atmosphere here tonight. Just uh, really, really unusual and especially you can hear the lads communicating as well as could be and probably <laughs> the giving out we're all doing as well. So that's, um, that's definitely a, a, a funny one. Um, I don't know whether we'll uh, play, play the crowd noise or whatever. Do you know did you get to play in any practice matches even before this? Because like, is it a case of even trying to find out what your best team is, who's in a form, go out to Dirty Petrol? It must be tough as manager to know what way to play it. Yeah, it is. It's look, it's it's tricky. Like I said, a few weeks ago, or three weeks ago, we got the you know the green light from the club situation. The county final went below. You had three weeks to work with them and. You know, we got two games in in that time, and you're you're just trying to get up to match speed is is what it really is, and and sometimes you know it's difficult to get that at from internal matches. You need to be playing top opposition to get up to that level, but um, yeah, look, it's it's a narrow window, but it's the same for everyone, you know, as such. So you just have to you you make do with what you have, you, you drive on, and and we just have to maximise the time that we have with them. You know, in the more than tonight, we go back down the road and we have possibly two, maybe three weeks to get ready for the next match. So that's the same. The process says the same. We, we we learn from what we did and you reflect on it and see where we can improve and just prepare for whatever is coming down the line and whoever that is. I suppose that, that extra few weeks to bring on the likes of Mark Cadman, I know he wasn't fully fit to start. You know, getting that, that 35 minutes into him and 
Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the Fizz has done some job to get him ready for that. I think it was even a miracle that he was fit to play there tonight. And it's his testament even to, to Mark's attitude. Look, he, he's just very committed to the cause. And like you said there, yeah, it'd be brilliant to get him back. But, um, you know, we have two or three other guys now nursing injuries in there. And we'll get to assess them and see what way they are. Because um, by the very nature of it, coming thick and fast, you know, guys will maybe lose out and be gone. So other lads have to be ready to step in. And, and this is... You know, in a situation like this, it's 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 character building. It's it it it's how good are the group together? How good are the group going to respond? How collective are we? How together are we now? Because team sport, by its very nature, is that you know you stick together and you learn from it and you kick on and you know you say the we take the positives out tonight and say at times we you know we punched hard out there tonight. We we really played well and that's the disappointing thing. That's the target. At this level, you have to be able to sustain that for 75 minutes. And unfortunately tonight, look, I think definitely Dublin's fitness and conditioning and, like I said, the bit of drive that's probably in them was what got them home there tonight. But um, as I said, look, I'm, I'm, I'd be very proud of the lads, in fairness, how they applied themselves under the conditions. It's a testimony, like, last year, you know, you did a great McDonough win, a great win against Dublin. It was all it was great to be on an East Ham or whatever. All, everything was all positive. It's a testimony about this next week or two, just coming in off the feet. Heavy defeat on paper, it might be. Awful, yeah. Although obviously it wasn't as one side as that, but this, this, these next few weeks are testing for them. Yeah, well that's it. Look, the, unfortunately with matches we often see that the scoreboard doesn't lie sometimes. Um, whether we like it or not, that is the history of the game is that we were we were well beaten tonight. So um, it's it's all about what you do next. Um, it's always that way. I mean that is the process because um, when you're trying to make that jump up and you're trying to make that step up, you know we have to look at it and it was much talked about but you know last year is the rear view mirror now we're, we're up at the at the highest level so you have to go out of your comfort zone yet again and you have to push for those little yards you have to push for the little gains and you know and it's like you know I think so I'm a, an athletics runner you know getting down to a certain time on a mile you know to get the last few little bits is the difference and because the quality opposition there's only little bits between them so that's where it's at you can make big gains at the start and then you have to it's the little gains where you're willing to go to look for those additional little bits and that's what it is for us at the moment we have to just get roll up the sleeves go back dust ourselves off and lick our wounds and get ready for the next day